Thank you for considering DevExpress ASP.NET controls and MVC extensions for your software development needs. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the basics of working with the DevExpress ASP.NET gauge control. We'll start with a new web application created with the DevExpress ASP.NET application template. To bind the gauge to data, let's first create a data bound container for it. In this example, we're going to use the DevExpress ASP.NET data view. Drop the ASPX data view control from the toolbox onto the web form. Now I'll bind this control to the NWIN database from my local SQL server. Click the New Data Source link. The Data Source Configuration Wizard will appear. Choose SQL Database and click OK. On the Choose Your Data Connection window, click the New Connection button. Set the server name. Next, click Select or enter a database name combo box and select the in-wind item. Click Next. On the Configure the Select Statement page, select Product ID, Product Name, and Unit Price data fields. Then click Next. On the wizard's last page, you can test the database connection by clicking Test Query. To complete the data source creation, click Finish. Data view control is now bound to the products table. Change the data view's column count and row per page properties to one so that only one record is displayed. After that, click Edit Templates in the data view smart tag. You can see three fields in the item template of the ASPX data view control. We'll only need the product name label control here. To create a gauge control, add the ASPX gauge control component to your project. To do this, locate the ASPX gauge control item in the Visual Studio Toolbox on the DX 12.2 Data and Analytics tab and drop it onto the Data View's item template form. Invoke the gauges smart tag and click Run Preset Manager. In the Preset Manager, you can see the list of available ready-to-use gauge presets. Each preset contains all the main gauge elements with different style and appearance settings and allows you to create a gauge on the fly. Let's load a circular gauge with the clever appearance style. In the Gauge Control Smart tag, click the Edit Data Bindings link. Select Value from the Bindable Properties list and click Bound to Combo Box on the right and select the Unit Price item. Next, click OK. The gauge will now display values from the Bound Unit Price field. Let's run this project and see the result in the browser. You can see how the gauge changes its value each time we select another page in the Data View Control. Now let's go back to Visual Studio and review the Gauge Control's Smart Tag in more detail. The Gauge's Smart Tag provides a quick way to get access to the Gauge customization options. The Gauge's Smart Tag panel contains three groups. Presets, which is used for loading and editing Gauge presets. Control Style allows you to change the Gauge style using the Style Manager. And the Properties group allows you to change the Enable Auto Layout options and contains links to the Gauge Help Online resources. Now we're going to change the gauge style using its style manager. Select the Gauges Style tab and click the Change Style button. The Style Chooser appears. Here we have a number of different styles to choose from. For now, I'll choose Eco and then hit Apply and close the window. Then click OK. The gauge control gives you fine-grained control over the gauge elements. The gauge designer is an integrated visual editing tool that provides you with the ability to quickly and easily customize gauges. It contains all the necessary instruments for editing gauges and its elements, including label and range editors. The designer allows us to see the applied result immediately. Let's add the second gauge scale. For this, locate the gauge control smart tag and click Customize Gauge Control. Select the Scales group in the Visual Gauge Control Designer and right-click the mouse and select the Add Scale option from the context menu. This creates the second gauge scale. Let's customize the scale. To do this, select Circular Gauge 1, Scale 2, and double-click it. 
In the Scales Element Designer, change the scales Radius X and Radius Y to 50, Max Value to 1, Major Tick Count to 5, and Major Tick Marks Format String Property to 0F1. Click OK and then Yes to save the changes. A needle indicates a value on a scale. It's oriented radially, starting at the scale center and pointing to the scale's current value. Let's add a needle for the second scale. For this, select the needle from the pointers group of the first scale and click the Duplicate button. This creates the Needle Copy Zero element. Drag this element and drop it to the Circular Gauge 1, Scale 2. To change the value of the second needle, double-click Needle Copy Zero. This invokes the needle's element designer. Specify its value property to 0.5 and click OK to close the designer. In this step, we'll edit the gauge ranges. Ranges allow you to mark certain value ranges in circular and linear gauges. Visually, they are displayed as bars along scales. As you can see, our gauge contains three ranges, green, yellow, and red. Let's remove the yellow range. For this, select the Scale 1 element, click the Ranges Ellipsis button in the Scales Element Designer. First, let's remove the yellow range, which is Range 1 here. Select Range 0 and change its End Value property to 66. Click OK to close this editor. Click OK to close the Scales Element Designer. And finally, click OK to close the Visual Gauge Control Designer. Now the circular gauge contains only two ranges on the scale. Let's run our project again. Now our stunning gauge has the updated look, second scale, and needle. And the gauge still responds quickly with each change. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.